Hey guys, so yesterday, dip, dip, dip. Hey, Smiths fans, Johnny Marr fans, New Wave fans, fans of uh, British pop, whoever you are, you found your way to this video. Maybe you're just a fan of me. I don't know. But this is going to be a top five video. Yesterday, I did a video on my top five jo uh, Andy Summers uh, guitar solos. I want to talk about a different guitar today. I want to talk about the Johnny Marr, who I think I'm not alone in saying he is my favorite guitarist of the 1980s. Uh, Andy Summers is up there, but I'm telling you, Johnny Marr, his sound was such an indelible part of what made the Smiths music so magical. I fell in love with the Smiths uh, in the late 80s, right when they were on the verge of breaking up. But not only was it Morrissey's lyrics, Morrissey's uh, voice, uh, just that whole rhythm section was uh, what really attracted me to the Smiths. And Johnny Myers' guitar playing uh, is at a whole nother level. And he's not an aggressive guitar player. He's very melodic. Uh, he's writing songs with his riffs. And I want to talk about his riffs today. I want to show my five favorite Johnny Marr guitar licks. Um, and these happen to be some of my favorite Smith songs, actually, by the way. But to me, it is Johnny Marr who made these songs so brilliant. If you're not already a Smith fan or a fan of Johnny Marr's work, hopefully this video will inspire you to go back and uh, take a deep dive into some of the Smith's catalog. So I'm going to start off with my number five pick, and my number five pick is going to be off the Strange Ways Here We Come album from 1987, and it is a track called Stop Me, if you think you've heard this one before. It's just a majestic opening, and it's my favorite song on the album, just by virtue of the intro to this song. Check it out. Okay, my number four pick is a little more gentle. I'm taking the version off of Hatful of Hollow, which I believe was a BBC recording, but it's Johnny Marr's guitar picking here, which sets the tone. It's such a gentle kind of ballad, uh, and it right from the intro, uh, I'm just in love with it. I love, love this song, love this intro, and he plays it throughout. Check it out. Okay, my number three pick is going to be off the, well, in, the, in America, it was the Louder Than Bombs album. It was on one of their singles. Uh, I only know them by their albums, but it's a brilliant track. I love Johnny Myers' guitar tone um, on this track. It is called Girl Afraid. <laughs> Number two, sort of in the same style. I love this. It's one of Morrissey's most mopey lyrics, but Johnny Myers' guitar playing throughout is just absolutely heavenly. And speaking of heaven, heaven knows I'm miserable now. Okay, my number one favorite, and this to me is the grand finale. It opens one of my favorite Smiths albums, Meat is Murder. I'm talking, of course, about the Headmaster Ritual. This reminds me a lot of The Song Remains the Same by Led Zeppelin, how it works its way through different guitar passages in the intro. It's brilliant. 
Uh, it's all acoustic guitar, but goddamn, Johnny Marr just kills it. <laughs> So that is my Johnny Marr list. Hopefully you agree. If not, if you got some better picks, let me know in the comment section. If you're not familiar with the Smith's work, hopefully you will check them out. Take care.